Souls Lake is a game that's kind of like Dark Souls. Maybe that means your character can roll around. Maybe you have to worry about a stamina bar. Or maybe big monsters just want to sit on you. Whatever it might be, I like to find Souls Lakes that you probably haven't seen. So if that sounds interesting, this is episode 16 of Steam Dumpster Diving. Alright, up first we have the demo for Clash Artifacts of Chaos, and I am super pumped for this because I'm actually familiar with the developer of this game. I'm gonna guess almost no one has heard of them, but this developer made Xenoclash and Xenoclash 2, two of the weirdest games I've ever played, and at this point they're like 10 years old, 10 plus years old. And the summary of those games is that you run around punching these like weird animal alien hybrid things with like kung fu and boxing moves, and that's the whole game. Just you just beating them up in first person. It's weird, it's crazy, and this seems like more of that maybe. They they pulled it back to third person, and it's apparently a Souls-like. It has the Souls-like tag, so I'm curious to see how, uh, how that's gonna work. Let's check it out. What a cool looking game. What a cool game. Also, look at my guy. I really like this character design. It's so weird. All right, so I can punch like this. I can do a special move. I can also dodge around. And we got a little jump. I got this move. This might be a parry. I don't know. Wait, what's happening? Did I just become this guy? Oh. <laughs> okay, I'm uh, I'm this guy now. Arguably even more fucked up than the last guy. You got this cool little stat screen where you can like customize your moves and stuff. Don't think I have any options yet, though. Okay, so yeah, this is like the Estus Flask. Oh, what the fuck is that? Do I have to fight you? Oh, okay, ow. <laughs> fuck you. I can't even describe it, it's like a gorilla anteater. I don't know. Punch, punch, kick. Oh my god, oh my god. He just hugged me, kind of. Okay. Oh fuck. Where am I? Hello, where am I? I just, I fell through the level, I think. I, I got knocked off the cliff? What? Why am I getting a tutorial? <laughs> Okay, this is... This is the first person mode. That's cool. Okay, hold on. This is like a weird little cool game. Okay, wait, so I think I do have a parry. There you go. Okay, that's the parry. Look at these guys. Please. Yeah, <laughs> look at this guy. Huh? The ritual. Wait, what is happening? The ritual is a brief game of chance and strategy where each participant can choose a consequence artifact. Only the player who wins the ritual will activate their artifact, which will be spent to confer an advantage in the upcoming fight. Whoever wins this game of chance, it's going to affect the next boss battle, I think. Like, I'm either going to get a buff or a debuff. Okay, I won. That was a weird little game. Don't tell me I'm playing as the old man now. Oh my god. What the fuck? What the fuck? <laughs> okay, I guess he's dead. You don't want to end up like the old man. I don't have any dice. Then I've already won. I get to eat you first. One of those sentences is true. Oh shit. Alright, now we're fighting for real. Is he actually gonna hit me first? Okay, well that's lame. Dude, what is this music? I fucking got him. Grandpa is dead. Yes. Okay. From this point on, Pseudo can challenge intelligent creatures to the ritual. So before fights, you can just play a dice game, which picks who gets the first hit, and if you get a buff or a debuff. 
That's so weird, that's so cool. I'm into this game. Let's go with the tether artifact that will be pinned during the fights if I win. All right, let's roll. Oh, that's a pretty good roll. Oh, that's a garbage roll. You're gonna lose, man. I win. Oh, it's a 2v1. Hey, cool, look, he's actually tethered. Yeah, so, yeah, you're tethered over there. Barrel guy? What the fuck? Alright, this is fucking game of the year contender. Also, I like how there's just an enemy. That other guy's not part of the duel. The gorilla's not part of the duel. He's just here. He's just fighting. Alright, seal, heal. <laughs> okay, so the more I'm playing this, I do think the, the checkpoint structure and the Estus flask are definitely kind of soulsy. So it's not just the combat and the stamina. That's maybe why this game's been called a Souls like. I think the overlap extends to the level design. So, um, I don't know, maybe Souls like actually does kind of fit. Can I fight you? That's probably for the best. I guess sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. You know, the, uh, the exploring aspect of this game is kind of fun, with the addition of the jump button. Okay, wait, wait, so I just died, and now it's nighttime and I'm this guy. Is that how the death system works? You have to, like, find your body as the other guy? <laughs> I love how enemies can just hit each other. <laughs> Alright, so... Yep, wake up. And I'm back. That's a neat little death mechanic. I'm very powerful. But people fear me. Ask anyone. I, why am I ragdolling? Oh my god, he was really powerful. <laughs> why is that even possible? Why can I ragdoll mid combat? Ah, right, cool. I've unlocked mammoth stance from that. This is mammoth stance. Okay. The best part about Mammoth Stance is you can see this drop kick move when you're running. <laughs> Alright, so I found out I could just spam the running attack on the Mammoth Stance to just ragdoll enemies. Yeah, I can just I can just do that. Alright, I have unlocked multi-strike. <laughs> the range of that is so funny. Dodge. Yep. Okay, get him up on the wall. Perfect, perfect. Yep. 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 Okay. I love this game. I love this game. It's so funny. What a funky little game. I I love the design of this world and these creatures, and you combine that with just like the absurdity of just punching them all and all the cool attacks and the voice acting and the cutscenes. I am 100% keeping my eye on this, and I would say that if the past games are anything to go off of from the same developer, this is going to be a very cool and very weird game. Um, it might be like inconsistent and like have its low points at times, so it's tough to recommend, but if you're like a patient person, you're cool with jank, you're cool with weird stuff, I think you'll be rewarded with just like an absurd and cool experience. All right, up next we have Knights of the Kitchen Table. This game's been out since July, zero reviews, that's what I like to see. And it looks like a game where you fight food monsters. Um, you know, just monsters made of food. Let's check it out. Okay, I have a jalapeno and... Dude, what are these powers? Why is a grill just like a power? Your next dish, grilled cheese. My first enemy is a crustacean. <laughs> okay. Bread make bread go up. Low bread bad, high bread good. <laughs> okay, sure, why not? Roll. Oh hell yeah, we got the roll. Bread go into meat, meat happy. I think I'm feeling the, um, I'm leaning toward the rolling pin build. Go. Yeah. Magic. Present your dish to Warden Gamsey. Warden Gamsey. Gordon Ramsey. Mm, good one, game. 100 out of 100. Let's go. Is that a bacon snake? 
Wait, this is just, um, this is just bug snacks, but a souls like. So I think what I'm doing each level is I'm running around killing all these enemies and they drop different ingredients and I need to just collect enough ingredients for whatever recipe I'm making at that level. And that's the whole game. I mean, I like this tomato guy. He's kind of funny looking. There he is, it's the king egg. Benedict the arm Ageddon. Okay. There's no way to hurt him. All my attacks do zero. Even like changing weapons. <laughs> Why is it making bowling pin sounds? What is that? Potato... Potatoger. Potatoger. That's kind of funny. I don't really want to keep playing, but I kind of want to see what food puns the developer makes. What? Beefcake the Metosaurus. How... Is that even a pun? It's just a dinosaur. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Elden Ring prepared me well for this. It's just like fighting a dragon. Take her behind rocks. Oh, shit. Where do I go? Where do I go? Oh, shit. Okay. Let's see. It's a real Souls Lake now. We got the swamp level. The Talernian, the Hydra Violi. I'm fighting a one headed Hydra Ravioli thing. Dude. <laughs> what the hell is this fight? Oh, my God. Don't tell me these are like the bone wheel skeletons. Are you a cookie? Like a cookie, cookie wheel. It is the bone. Oh my God, it is. They are, <laughs> oh fuck. Whoever made this, they really committed to it. I think I beat the game. I, I don't even know. Maybe I didn't. Yeah, that was Knights of the Kitchen Table. Kind of funny. Um, very, very jank. I gotta say, I just, I respect the vision. You know, they just, they wanted to make some food puns and make it into a soul's leg and they just went for it. Yeah. <laughs> All right, next up we have Weird RPG. This is one of those games where I actually had quite a few people reach out to me saying like, hey, this seems like a really good fit for the series. You should check it out. I'm going to go out on a limb and assume that this game is going to be weird and probably an RPG too. Yeah, let's check it out. Spacebar roll. Roll can briefly immune damage. All right. Also, hold on. What is this inventory screen? Why is there a Pokédex in the game? Are they allowed to do that? Okay, my one quest is, this world has end crisis, which could lead world end. Find out the cause as soon as possible. Alright, let's attack. Yeah. This game's called Weird RPG. I'm not seeing the the weird part yet. Yeah, I'm just, I'm just running around through the forest, killing guys, picking up uh, crafting materials. I feel like I'm waiting for something. I feel like there's gotta be more to this. The monsters is getting more. Oh no. Oh, I broke his posture, I think. Nice. Oh yeah, he does have a posture bar. I just noticed that at the top. Okay, you know what? I'm kind of into this. Oh, is there a giant? Yo, wait, I just realized I'm dealing zero damage to it. Yeah, no, it's invincible. Its health's not going down. See, but I can use it to kill other enemies. Like that. <laughs> you know what? I'm usually not into these types of games, like the top-down Diablo-style things, but something about this one is keeping me engaged. Oh, exploding crystals. Let's, uh, let's try it on this guy. Nice. I always really like little just environmental things like that. They're all going through the traps. <laughs> Look at them go. It's like I'm playing a tower defense game. Music sometimes useful than fist. Trust the power of music. A rap song will make you strong. What? What did I just pick up? Equip. Play hit songs. Is this going to play music when I equip it? Okay. Ooh, what's that? Lover's Pauldron. Call for mysterious power. Swear to God and answer every word. Why does it say microphone control? Use your microphone to activate special abilities. Wait, it's when I talk. When I talk, it makes sh <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Hold on. Does this do damage? Hello, 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 hello. I can't. This game is fucking hilarious. <laughs> Wait, it has range. <laughs> this is the funniest thing ever. Okay, well, that's incredible, but I'm not going to do that the whole time. What is this piece of gear in the shop? It says determines weapon ability based on graphics card model. The better the graphic, the less the bonus? Wait... <laughs> so it's punishing me for having an RTX 3090. We're now in like a sci-fi cyberpunk area. Dude, these items are incredible. 
Ability is determined according to the game's frame rate. The lower your frame rate, the more attack you get. These types of games where you just go through a dungeon and kill hundreds of enemies aren't really my thing, so I'm probably going to stop here. But if this looks interesting to you and you like the idea of gear that changes based off your frame rate or your microphone, this could be a fun time. Definitely lived up to its name as Weird RPG. This was neat. Alright, up next we have Blind Fate Edo no Yami. It's got the Souls-like tag, and you know I've always thought that the world could use more cyber samurai games, just in general. It's a pretty, uh, pretty good genre, but uh, yeah, let's check it out. Welcome to what new creatures call a sea of ghosts. I can't see a thing. I believe it may be due to your blindness. You don't say. Alright, X to attack, Y range attack, right trigger parry, B to dodge, so dodge, attack, range attack, okay. Okay. It's kind of neat so far. X, X, up, X, X, air dash, down, stomp. Okay, cool. <laughs> okay, wait, so I'm like in the dark, kind of. Hold sensor. Wait, hearing sensor? Oh, wait, so I have a, a hearing sensor? I have a heat sensor? Huh. I have a smell sensor too. I, I mean, that's kind of a neat idea for like a character that's partially blind, basically. You can use all these other sensors to help navigate the environment. At first, enemies are invisible. Use your sensors to detect them. Every contact will make your enemy temporarily visible. But beware, its visibility will go down again if contact is interrupted. Is it gonna be like this for the whole game? Like, I'm, I'm blind and I have to just, like, smell my enemies? Okay, smell and attack. Okay, I did it. Quick time event. <laughs> okay. Okay. I just went through a solid floor. Moreover, the data I possess are 535 years old. You need recent data to produce. Oh, okay, that makes sense. So, like, the level in the world I'm seeing is 500 years old, so it's not necessarily accurate to the reality of the situation. So that's why I can just fall through floors and stuff. That's cool! So, hearing sensor, and collect data. Oh! That's cool! Okay, I get it now. So this is what it actually looks like. Oh shit, I just, I, I just ran into a guy. <laughs> that invisible enemy thing is gonna get me. See, like, this invisibility gimmick is, like, kinda neat, but, like, I'm already skeptical if this can, like, be fun for the whole game. You know what I mean? Like, it's neat, but is it, like, full game-worthy neat? This game better start introducing new enemy types or I'm gonna start losing interest quick. Oh god, and you keep running out of stamina, too. Like, I don't really see the point of adding stamina to a game like this, but okay. So for combat, I feel like I'm mostly ignoring the sensor system and just running into them and then when my character stops moving, that means I've found an enemy so I just start attacking. Dude, this guy has so much health. Oh man, dude, this combat's not good, damn it. Oh, pet the dog? Okay. Nice. All right, game. I'll I'll give you a chance. Still, I'll keep playing. The audio does that. <laughs> the audio does that every time. Oh my god, it's actually insane. I just have to keep watching this for every enemy. Okay, I think I'm gonna have to like. I'll give this game a few more minutes, but man, I've been playing for a while, and it's just the same two enemies and just doing the same little thing like man yeah i don't know i feel like i think i'm done this game has a couple really cool ideas and the blindness thing is neat but the combat is just wow it's it's really not good i've never seen combat that's this repetitive and this much of a slog to get through like this it's actually just kind of baffling that this was released in the state that it's in damn that sucks yeah i I don't really want to keep playing though, I'm sorry.
All right, up next we have Warhaven. It's a medieval fantasy sword fighting multiplayer game, 16 v 16. They're currently having a global beta for the game and I'm gonna keep it real. Is this really a Souls-like? You know, probably not really. But, uh, you know, you know how like everything is, is art if you look at it from a certain point of view. I think everything can be a souls like if you look at it from a certain point of view. So let's check it out. All right, let's do the tutorial. We got this cool song in the background. We can swing from this side and we can swing from this side. Okay, shield bash, attack. Okay, I'm getting this. Oh, wait, what the hell? Hold on. Hold on a second. Okay, I did not expect that from a game like this. Okay. There's kind of a dodge in this game. Only after blocking, though. We got Blade. We got Spike. We have a Catman Archer. Did not expect that. Big guy. Other big guy. Uh, girl. You know what this is like? This is like For Honor if it took itself less seriously. That's the vibe I'm getting. Just kind of like goofy go in there and hit guys game. Occupy a defense foothold A until the enemy's military strength is depleted. Our victory depends on it. Why does it sound like it's coming through a radio? I thought this was like a medieval game. Yeah. And we got a rabbit on our team too. Okay, I'm ready. Let's go. Capture foothold A. Look at the radio voice. That's really throwing me. Oh shit. Oh my god, there's a lot of guys. Oh. Yo, I got someone! That was my first kill. Alright, I'm gonna... I'm gonna jump on that guy. Oh my god. Okay, I guess I don't need to. Yo, what's up, gamers? Oh! Alright, I'm done fucking around. Let's fucking go. I... What the hell is this? How do I control this? Uh... Um... Yo, what's up, guys? I got someone. <laughs> Yo, what's up? Hey, what's up? I'm on top of you. So imagine, like, a third-person class-based medieval game where everyone has an ultimate ability where you can just turn into a guy on a horse. This is sick. This is just a mosh pit. There's voice chat in this game? Yo, hello? This is my uh, second game. Oh, I don't know. Can you speak Chinese? Nope. <laughs> okay. Where are you okay. from? I'm from the US. Oh, oh my god. You guys, you guys, American, American. Oh. Hey, bro, let's go to C C two, okay? Yeah, sounds good, man. We are on the bro. <laughs> oh my, oh my God! <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> I don't think you wanted to spawn on me. Oh. Goodbye, my, my bro. <clears throat> Sorry, man. I tried. Goodbye, bro. Okay, stop force pushing me. Oh no, oh no. <laughs> I guess there's fall damage. Ow, my fucking helmet got knocked off. What the fuck? <laughs> you can launch yourself? That's sick. So I feel like they should rename this game Medieval Mosh Pit because that's exactly what it is. It's just a complete mess of you running into the enemies with your teammates and just mashing the attack button. Uh, it feels a little too simple, for lack of a better word. Like, your main options in combat are just hitting the attack button and blocking. And there are some skills mixed in, but it feels pretty simple. Um, it's fun. I had a fun time with it. Um, yeah, you know, I think it's neat. Why not? All right, up next we have Path of Feolad. It's a PlayStation-style Souls-like made in two weeks for a game jam. The developers say the game wasn't playtested much, so it's very buggy, but uh, yeah, let's check it out. All right, we're just in the game. I don't think I can change the resolution, as far as I can tell. I'm at, like, the bonfire, and I can choose to level up my human form or my wolf form. 
Interesting. Alright, so I can attack. I can roll. I can drop my weapon. Okay. When Bloodlust gets full, you can transform. I'm trying to fill up my Bloodlust. Did he just drop a heart? Alright, werewolf time. Let's go! <laughs> that was it? <laughs> wait, wait, go back. You will require two keys. One is down the well to the east, the other is in the swamp to the west. Um, I guess let's go down the well. Hello? You guys are just gonna stare at me? Okay. <laughs> the Rat King is no friend of mine. I will aid you if you wish. Oh, hell yeah. All right, let's, uh, let's go kill the Rat King. Holy shit. Oh, there's little rats. Oh, fuck. Oh, there's so many rats. Holy shit, it's the Rat King. <laughs> That's kind of... <laughs> Wait, you just made the rats go flying. That's kind of awesome. Die, Rat King. Die. Yeah, this is kind of a mess, but like... This is cool. I love the Rat King. Oh, we got him. Is he just gonna stand there? All right, all right. So the first obvious things I notice is that uh, there's no like recovery frames. Like you can, I can just spam attack and this happens. So that's a little odd. I think mechanically this game is kind of a mess, but um, I don't know. I really like the like the visual style and like the atmosphere that like the low resolution and fog and all the textures they able to create. Also, I like how the one enemy in this game is a skeleton and they drop hearts. It's like, that's the one thing skeletons don't have. All right, hell yeah. Dark Souls PvP has prepared me for this boss fight. He's got to roll around and then he's got to spam attack. I feel weaker as a werewolf. I feel like I'm not even doing damage. What? <laughs> Am I missing something with the werewolf ability? Roll. No, my heart. Why do I have negative experience now? Is that actually a mechanic? Like, not only do I lose my souls or whatever, but I'm in the negative. Is that intentional? All right, round two. Oh, cool. He doesn't get his health back. Well, that's convenient. Oh, shit. The werewolf's gonna help me. Yeah, finally. Finally, you come to help me. Yeah, do it. Do you not attack? Save me. What the fuck is this fighting? What is this footsie? <laughs> what is this footsie shit? Got him. There we go. I serve Krom, but I still owe you. Yeah. Yeah, let's team up, guys. Also, I just realized, are, is this guy a rat rather than a werewolf? It's like a were-rat. Alright, the boss is just running around. Hello? Hello? I'm, <laughs> fight me! This can't be intentional, right? Like, what is happening? Why is he shrinking? <laughs> also, I love the music. Just goes with this perfectly. Okay, the one thing I'll say that's like kind of interesting in theory with the, the transform thing is that the fact that you have to drop your weapon to transform and then like pick it back up, I think there's some potential there with like, you know, mechanically how you have to drop your weapon and like find it again mid fight. If there's like lots of pressure, that could be kind of cool. All right, you've had your fun running around. Let's end it. Let's end it. There we go. A bit of a mess, but you know, for a two week long game jam game, pretty neat still. I'm into the atmosphere, turning into a werewolf. In theory, pretty cool. Uh, like this on the page, pretty buggy though. I would definitely like to see more werewolf souls likes. Um, definitely seems like some untapped potential there. All right, next up is the demo for Mandragora. This is a game that's currently on Kickstarter, and it's a Souls-like Metroidvania that visually looks really, really impressive. The developers were kind enough to send me a pre-alpha demo code, so that's what I'm going to be playing. I also decided to look up the developers, and I found out that they're based in Budapest, Hungary, which is pretty neat. And they're also a team of 50 people, unless I'm misreading something, which feels pretty massive for an indie team. But uh, it does explain why the game looks so impressive. Let's check it out. All right, so I can attack. And roll. Uh, I think that's blocking. I think that's a parry. Okay. When I have that spell, and I have that spell. Oh, not available in the pre-alpha. This reminds me a lot of uh, Salt and Sanctuary or like Path of Exile. Just an overwhelming skill tree. <laughs> Okay. Pretty, pretty basic stuff so far. Can I take off my pants? Oh, I can. Okay, I, I appreciate that they're they're going for some pretty in-depth, um, like stat and equipment stuff. All right, we got a big guy. Roll, attack, ow. Ooh, giant rat. He spits out smaller rats. 
I like that. Okay, run, 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 run. Oh. <laughs> Wait, what was that? Oh, I have a grapple hook. That's fun. Oh, oh. Okay, boss time. <laughs> Just ran over and kicked me. Okay, roll through that. Let's let's buff my weapon. Ow! Oh no! Holy shit! Okay. Ah, that's quick. It's weird. I think I think some of the basic enemies telegraph their attacks too hard, and I'm sensing the opposite problem with the boss. I feel like some of his attacks come out so quick. He attacks so quick that I feel like the most effective strat is just to keep baiting out this kick attack and nothing else. Yeah. I mean, I know it is pre-alpha, but uh, I really wasn't a fan of that boss design. <laughs> like, mechanically. <laughs> okay. I mean, it was near a checkpoint, so whatever, but I hope there's not a lot of traps like that. God, these guys have so much health. Yeah, I'm not a huge fan of having to hit, like, basic enemies 20 or 30 times to kill them. Oh, and that's the end. There are a lot of souls like Metroidvanias out there, and I kept waiting for there to be some big hook that would separate it from that. And I didn't see it in this pre-alpha demo. But again, like this is a pre-alpha thing, right? So there could be a lot more. And also with Metroidvanias, it's really hard to tell how good they are based off demos because a lot of it comes down to level design and world structure and just progression and all that. And none of that's gonna be present in the demo. So I would say this game looks cool, has a lot of potential, I'm gonna keep an eye on it, but not like super wowed by the demo. But yeah, you know, I'll probably keep an eye on it and uh, hope that it improves. All right, next up we have Pain Party. According to the page, Pain Party combines the madness of a party game with the mechanics of a Souls-like and precision jumping. Souls-like party game sounds like, you know, it could have potential. Let's check it out. So as far as the controls go, I can roll. I can also jump, but I can like charge the jump. Okay, you can also punch, so I can punch these. Can I punch people? Oh, he's fucking dead. I guess being stuck here isn't the worst thing. I could be stuck with my wife. <laughs> Is this like Mario 64? There's like separate levels you walk into. Okay. Can I fire this? Oh, oh, they're trying to kill me? Yo, chill. Oh, it's a mine. Uh, where do I want to go from here? Okay, hold on, hold on. There we go. Okay, we're good, we're good. Nice. Nice. Okay. So this game's just like, just a giant obstacle course. Okay. This is kind of a lot for level one. Okay, I didn't see that. God damn it. Skill issue. Alright, thanks game. I gotta do the whole thing again. And the home stretch, here we go. Yeah, I do feel like this would be more fun with a lobby full of people. All right, there we go. Fuck yeah, I did it. All right, let's try level two. Oh, wait, do I just guess the door? This is like that one, okay, this is just that one Fall Guys level where like it's fake doors and real doors. So they're going for a, f okay, really? <laughs> so here's my issue. They're going for like a Fall Guys thing, right? Where there's like physics and lots of traps. But the thing with Fall Guys is that you don't die in one hit. You get launched, but then you get back up and you can keep going usually, right? Like, what am I supposed to do about this? <laughs> Maybe I can like dodge it if I'm fast enough, so I... Wait, open the door. Okay. All four doors have axes, what the hell? Look, there's one there. There's one there. And there's two down there. Every door has an axe, what do I do? Oh, that one just didn't go off. So you just have to just guess? Roll. Okay, we're good. Jump. It's sinking. Okay, we're good. Okay, there we go. What? Dude. Why would you make your game like this? Okay, let's get stamina come back. 
I hate this game. Oh no. Oh no. Roll. Dude, what is this? Yo! Bro, there's no way. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. Huh. Holy fuck, I made it! I made it. Alright. Uh, I've unlocked the clock world. I think I'm... I think I'm done. You know what? Let's try. I'll give it a shot. What do you do? What the? Okay, he fires like a time slow zone. You know, I'm starting to think this game isn't actually Souls-like at all. Oh no, I have to jump the clock while fighting these guys. Dude, this is so hard. <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. I hate this game. Okay. No, I hate it. I hate it. I'm done. Just to see. I'll see if anyone's playing the multiplayer. I'm sure they're not, but I'll, I'll check. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna find a single person playing this game. Dark Souls meets Fall Guys sounds kind of interesting. I do not think this current execution is anywhere near what it needs to be to be fun or to catch on. This game has an identity crisis. Does it want to be a battle royale platformer kind of party game like Fall Guys? Or does it want to be one of those masochistic stream games where the streamer just gets mad because the level is so unfair and so brutal and so hard? I have no idea why the developer tried to label this game as a Souls-like aside from trying to get featured in one of these videos, which maybe that was the intention. If so, good job. But uh, I would not recommend this. Hey man, you look like a gamer. What are you looking at? And I see you're doing some cooking. Nice. Oh, piss off. But see, as a fellow gamer, sometimes cooking can just take a long time. And I want something filling and healthy in two minutes instead of an hour. Mmm. Well. So that's what this video's sponsor, Factor, is for. Let's take a look at this TV I dragged over. You order your meals, they come in a box, and the smoke is unfortunately just for a dramatic effect. Then you got chicken, beef, shrimp, lots of protein-rich meals. They also have low-calorie, vegetarian, and vegan options to help you avoid fast food in favor of more healthy options. Marika's tits. You must be hungry. Yeah, I usually am, which is why it's great that they have good portions and actually good food. That's very much not always the case with these types of services, but I can recommend it. So use my link or go to go.factor75.com and use pogironnov60 for 60% off your first box. Thanks again to Factor75 for the sponsor, and thanks for watching. Freshly cooked it is. Hey, thank you very much for watching. Just want to give a quick shout out to Googly Gareth, who did the intro animated sequence. I love how that came out. Super fun, super cool. Say hi to him, be nice to him, throw him a sub. And uh, I think this video is probably going out after Thanksgiving, so hope you had a good one. Keep an eye out for maybe two or three more videos this month. I'm really trying to get through a bunch of editing stuff. But uh, yeah, thanks again for watching and have a good one.